and this week we review the newly released 2024 Hyundai Electric. From inside, David, all you can hear is the gentle whisper because it's a million degrees out. So where's that? It's 31 degrees outside, but it must be 700% humidity. Kona comes as a standard or premium car with a standard range or extended range battery. The standard battery is 48.6 kilowatt hours driving a 99 kilowatt motor. The extended range is 64.8 kilowatt hours driving a 150 kilowatt motor. Both, of course, drive the front wheels. The looks at first we thought were polarizing but have well and truly gotten used to, but fell in love with the space, the use inside and out, with the frunk in the back and the trunk in the rear. And there's a spare tire in the back, which is a segment first. Pricing starts at 54, goes up to 68. And Hyundai are really keeping an eye on the Chinese competition, but it's even in competition with its own electric cars like the Ionic 5 entry level for example and Kia's electric cars as well. What electric cars will look like in the future nobody knows but I can tell you this the Kona electric turns heads. Uh, so we've got the air conditioning on and um, uh, which of course we did throughout the outside recording. Yeah just to keep it cool yeah. without putting any local pollution. Yeah so inside the car is beautifully neat. The Kona has got one long dashboard including this little magnetized bit which they've carried over from Ionic. Uh, lovely and I don't normally like metalized plastic but this um, that looks very classy. Down below we've got some uh, individual buttons for air conditioning. I like this a lot. I don't like the two the double touch screen thing. I think oh, yes, I, I prefer yes. physical buttons. This also has which I was very glad to see, cool seats, which I've got on. Have you got your cool seats on, David? Yes. Down below, we've got a heated steering wheel, auto hold, drive modes, and look, a park camera, which I uh, think is kind of cool. Don't show me that again, just show me the actual camera. Thank you very much. Uh, that's, um, this is a bright day. That's actually not very clear, is it? No, I think, is it? picking up on the brightness of the sky. Might be. Oh, there we go. It's adjusted. So that's at the front. I don't know how the back looks. Does that Again, give you a view around? It's yes. Look. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh, look, at that's as sexy as, as the Gen Z say, sexy AF. But also, if you're looking to make sure everything's clear around you. Well, you don't want to be raped and pillaged either. Well, that's true. Well, no, I mean, not intentionally, anyway. Where are we? Where's my camera button, Dave? I'll turn that off. Lovely big screen, lovely, uh, you know, twin twin screens. They'd be the 12-inch screens. Mm. And down below, we've got a plethora of outputs for uh, and inputs for USB-C. It's all USB-C, by the way. And a little pop-open thing for your 12-volt lovely big center area and because this is a an EV there's no need for other stuff cluttering it up but Dave look at the gear lever over here this hmm. this kind of paddle sticking out you kind of turn the the end it's not even a knob it's just a flat paddle that you turn to go forward so we're now in forward now of course this is the latest generation of Hyundai group cars which means it has the annoying thing for the oh for the but you now, can... what I've done is I've turned the volume down. I'm going to see with it uh, left on whether it still dings. I suspect it will because I've been told you can't turn it off unless you turn off all of the sign recognition. Can I just try something? If you go into here, mm. driver assistance, this here, right, yeah. the speed limit, yeah. it gives you speed limit warning, speed yeah. limit assist, yeah. or speed limit or just information or off. I think you can actually turn it on where it doesn't have the warning. Shall we leave that on and see if we get the annoying dings? Correct. All right. So you're not just a pretty face. This does not have wireless Apple CarPlay, which um, surprised me. Very light steering. This does have drive modes down below there, here on the console de center. Uh, 
getting out of this usual car park. Lovely. Make sure no one's coming. Indicators, of course, are on the correct side because this is a Korean clear car. Left. Clear Thank left. You. I'm just going to try and not scrape. And I've got it just in normal mode. That's plenty of power, David. Plenty of power. And immediately on tap. And now I can see what's happening in front of me because I have, David, a heads-up display, something that no Tesla has, nor does it have any instruments in front of the driver otherwise. I think that interface on the Tesla is a great problem. Yeah, I do I too. think this is infinitely better. Now, this just has standard suspension. It doesn't toughen up. Uh, it's not active. And yet this is doing the speed limit down here. No problem at all. Look at that whipping around those corners. You can still feel the weight of the batteries though. I'm getting some warnings up here in the heads up display telling me there's a corner coming up, except it was pointing the wrong way. Oh, this is really sticking to the road. Now I'm not purposely not pushing it, David, because this isn't a sports car. No. I tell you what, it's quiet. Ow. I don't know what it's like from the passenger side. Does it feel nice and comfy? You're not getting chucked about? No, no, no. seat's holding me well. And you've got the waft up got the Kyber? <laughs> from the... From the seat. From the seat, the seat cool warmer seats. and cooler. It's, it's rather mild, but it but it's certainly nice. helps. It just, I think the good thing about this, of course, is that it's got a uh, fixed 24 month for servicing for $500, so you just take it in every two years. I suppose all they do is rotate the tyres. And it's got a decent amount of warranty, five years. So I wonder, it drives fantastically. Ah, maybe the looks are growing on me. So we've swapped drivers. And as I said, for better or for worse, you know, we've got Nikki Louder behind the wheel. <laughs> what are your feelings, David? The immediacy of feeling quiet, confident, uh, uh, responsive uh, vehicle. And what about the car? <laughs> did you see what I did there? No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Not a sausage. Don't know why I bother. See, the steering, the steering uh, well, to your taste? It was very light when you started, but it's got enough feel to it. Well, you know what I've noticed? Mm -hmm. Or you know what I haven't noticed? I'm not being bonged with an inch of my life. Uh, because of speed, yeah. And now, I don't know whether or not that's because I made it zero or what. So is that because I turned the volume down or because you turned that, that thing off? I believe it's that I turned the thing off. Well, remember we were complaining about that, that every time the speed limit changed, you got a bong. Every time you went uh, a kilometre over the speed limit, it bonged. There's two things. One is it may still bong you when the speed limit changes, but it won't nag you if you are going faster than what it thinks the speed limit is. Which is, of course, as you know, usually wrong. Well, it can be very wrong. Do you know, David, I really love this. I like, I like how... The space. I really, really like it. A I, lot. I like how you can... If you slow down for a corner and come out of it, you can get that instantaneous amount of power oh, yeah. that you want. Yeah. Not lag or... Well, it's, it, it, it's, it's got the power of a turbocharged internal combustion engine when that engine is at about 7,000 RPM. Yes, yes. Like all cars, there are good and bad things. And perhaps not such a good thing as the 100 kilowatt max AC public charging. You can, of course, charge from home. But it's the sensible design, the beautifully neat interior, absolutely chock block full of the latest technology. There's plenty of room in the back. There's plenty of leg and headroom. And there's plenty of room in the boot. Most of all, there's a spare tire. There are useful features like the Hyundai Group's vehicle to load feature so there's a household socket in the back seat along with the USB-C's. There are a couple of downsides. If you want just over 60 extra kilometres of range, go for the 17 inch wheels instead of the 19 inch wheels but other than that it is all good news. As always, hit like, leave a comment 
and the little round dot to subscribe.